Traditionally, when people entered into contracts, they did so face to face. But as society progressed, people began making and accepting offers through the mail. How did the introduction of the postal system affect the formation of contracts? The English High Court of Justice King's Bench Division addressed this issue in Adams v. Lenzel. On September 2, 1817, on behalf of himself and his business partners, Lenzel mailed a letter to Adams and his business partners, who operated a woolen manufacturing business. The letter offered a large quantity of sheep's wool at a certain price. The letter concluded by stating that Adams could reply to the offer via the postal system. The letter was accidentally misdirected by Lenzel and thus didn't arrive to Adams until September 5th. That same day, Adams sent a letter agreeing to accept the wool on the terms proposed. Lenzel didn't receive Adams's reply until September 9th. The day before, September 8th, Lenzel and his partners had sold the wool to another buyer. They assumed that, because they hadn't heard back from Adams by September 7th, that he and his partners didn't wish to purchase the wool. Adams and his partners sued Lenzel and his partners for damages. The defendants contended that no contract had been formed at the time they sold the wool to a third party because they hadn't yet received the reply letter from Adams accepting the offer. The trial court entered judgment for Adams and his partners. Lenzel and his partners moved for a new trial in the High Court of Justice, King's Bench Division. 